Good morning, family. This is Ricky and welcome to Hope for Today. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new week. And come on, y'all, let's go. Get up out your bed, bend the knee, brush your teeth, both of them, okay? Let's act like a thing is so, even though it ain't so, in order that it might be so, because God said, so I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna believe them this week. Come on, somebody. Hey, you know what? I think one of the greatest things we can pray about with the Lord is to, Lord, help us escape the snare of pride. God, help us to escape the snare of pride. Uh, we've got a me culture now, right? Where it's all about me. Um, the things the youngsters say, do you, do you, right? Like it's all about me, all the emphasis is on me. But when I read my Bible, it seems like the emphasis is on everybody else but me. It seems like there's a quality and enrichment that comes with life when I take the focus off of myself and put the focus back on God and on the people God has called me to love in my life. And my point is this, pride will not get you closer to God, it'll get you further from God. And as we come to Proverbs chapter 11, uh, verse two, the, the writer says, when pride comes, then comes uh, disgrace. But with the humble, uh, there is wisdom. God is saying that my way for you my course of direction for you, my promises for you, my plans for you are secured with humility. They are secured with humility. And this means that we have to start considering how we show up in spaces and conversations and moments and decisions. And that's why I say it's one of the most important things you can pray because I don't think we get there unless we pray there. God help me to take the low road. My grandfather was my pastor and he used to always say, when you go up into a church, always sit in the back. He'd literally say, sit in the back and honor the service. Because in the old church, you had pulpits where they would invite the preachers up to sit like in these little, you know, these, these fancy places. And my grandfather would always say, never assume that you're supposed to sit in the high chair, but always take the low chair. And if someone wants to bring you up to the high chair, then you go. Otherwise, Learn how to have peace and contentment, being just like everybody else. And thank you, Jesus, for that lesson. And may I never forget that lesson, that God doesn't bless high folk, God blesses low folk. Who am I talking to today? I used to always go to these seminars where a Reverend Dr. Jerry Young would be the speaker, a famous preacher in Mississippi. Uh, but one of the things Dr. Young is known for outside of preaching is refusing to fly. The man is terrified of flying. He ain't gonna do it, okay? The only way he going overseas is if he goes over sea. You know what I'm saying? He ain't getting in no planes. And it's just become a thing over the years. People make fun and there was one convention where the speaker gets up to introduce Dr. Young to speak. And he says, oh, of course, we know Dr. Young doesn't like getting up in these planes. I don't know why he's scared. Doesn't he know when you're up in the sky, you're closer to the Lord? And everybody starts laughing. And finally, Dr. Young ascends um, uh, the dais and he comes up to the lectern getting ready to preach. And he says, I appreciate my elder statesman for introducing me, admonishing me that up in the skies where the Lord is, but I have to correct you, dear brother, with scripture. For the Lord is said in his word, and lo, I'll be with you always. <laughs> it was a play on words, but you get the lesson. Sometimes we think that, that things happen for us when we go high. Uh, but God is saying, no, I make things happen for you when you stay low. Let me give you some application. You ain't gotta be the one to talk all the time. You ain't gotta be the one to fill in the quietness all the time. You ain't gotta be the one to change the conversation to you all the time. Lo, he'll be with us always. And that's hope for today. I'll see you next time.